In this short AI tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to generate an AI influencer in any pose while keeping the character consistent for free. Now for this, we're gonna be using Focus, which is a completely free and open source stable diffusion image generator. Now there are two ways we can do this. If you have a GPU with at least four gigabytes of VRAM, you can install it locally on your PC. All you have to do is head over to the GitHub page in the description, scroll down to the download section, download this seven zip file. They wanna extract all the files inside there into a new folder and just run this batch file. That's literally it. Now, if you don't have a GPU or you just wanna use faster GPUs, we can do it in a free Google collab. So for this, head over to the second link in the description, which is this one. It'll take you to this Google collab page. And now all you have to do is hit file, then save a copy in drive. Make sure you're logged into your Google account. And this will copy the entire notebook into your own drive. Then all you have to do is hit this little play button to run this script. Now, once it's done, you will see this link at the bottom ending in gradio.live. You wanna click on that and here is our interface. So you could just type in anything you want and it will generate an image for you. All right, so let's first just generate our AI influencer. We could just hit generate here, but let's just open the advanced panel here. First of all, you can choose what to prioritize. We're gonna keep it on speed for now. Then we can choose an aspect ratio. Let's maybe do a three by five and you can choose the amount of images you want it to generate. We'll leave that at two for now. And that's it, we're gonna hit generate. I just typed in beautiful woman, light freckles, purple eyes, big smile, purple hair, soft lighting, portrait. I think that would look pretty good. So let's just hit generate. All right, and here are our two images. They both look really, really good. I prefer this one, so that's the one we're gonna use. So to get our following images to retain this face and to put her in different poses, what we're gonna do is go to input image down the bottom here, click that. Then you wanna go to image prompt and make sure you hit this advanced button right here. Once that's checked, you can see we get some more options here. All you have to do is drag this image into this first box here, and this will be our reference image. So for this image, we wanna hit face swap, meaning it will retain her face on all future generations. You can increase the weight to make sure it keeps her features. We'll just leave it at 0.75 for now. And now we want a reference image of someone else posing. So I just got this image of Aitana Lopez posing with her hand behind her head there. So we'll use that, just drag that into the second box here. Now for this one, you wanna hit the Pyracani. This will retain her pose. So we can leave these at the default settings for now as well. And all you have to do now is just hit generate again. And there we go. For some reason, the second one, it didn't do the pose, but here we go, the first one. As you can see, the exact same pose. It also looks at the clothing apparently because these are very similar clothing, except hers are purple. And as you can see, it kept the face pretty damn consistent. I just think it's amazing that we can do this for absolutely free. Just look how good Stable Diffusion has become. So you can keep generating images like this. And if you want to put her in a different scene, you can just add that here. Like you can just say at the beach and she'll be at the beach. It should work with pretty much any pose you put in there. So that's how to get a character into any pose you want. Now there's a lot more you can do with this tool. Let me know in the comments if you want a more detailed, full tutorial on everything you can do with this tool, including changing her clothes, her accessories, her eye color, or even how to train your own model so that you can basically clone yourself. Let me know if you want to see that. Otherwise, you'll probably like this video as well. Please hit the like button or subscribe and I'll see you next time.